Okay. Continue. So here's something that we can see because of Thief. Secret way to go out. So there is... So there are, like, sand traps in the floor above this place. Uh, and the sand traps lead down to those little areas there. Okay, I'm not fighting this. But if you're thief, you can find the ways without having to fall down them. Yep. Well, you have to fall down one of them. Because it's behind a locked door. So. <laughs> because monsters! Mm -hmm. What? Fall guard. Fall. You guys aren't undead. What the hell are you doing in a box in this place? They're not undead, right? Yeah, they're not undead. <laughs> Shit. This ain't good. <laughs> so yeah, these are guys that you don't normally encounter until, like, one of the later, uh, you go to, like, the, uh, the waterfall dungeon, and these guys are there. So their common steel is, like, just the stupid <laughs> rope headband helmet from, like, World 2. But I believe their rare steel is actually an accessory that is good <laughs> for boosting a monk's punching power. Which, like, if you want your monk to be punching, sure. But, usually you don't want your monk to be punching mm -hmm. by the end of the game, if you stick with a monk for some reason <coughs> outside of Fiesta. It's always better to have something else, like, uh, like the yeah. Hermes sandals or whatever. <coughs> mm -hmm. so these guys have a lot of health, so, um, yeah, fuck them. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Uh -huh. What did we get? Black costume. <laughs> this is basically the best uh, clothing armor in the game. I was going to hope you can now do Tropic Thunder, but that would be rude. Whoa! What? <laughs> what? Yeah, we're going there then, I guess. Hey, I'm talking Tropic Thunder, not... I really don't know much about that movie, aside from, you know, Robert Downey Jr. Well, the one guy is, like, basically role-playing... Basically, he, he's got so used to, like, pretending to be, you know, because he has all the makeup to make himself look African-American. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, okay. One Requiem from the Bard actually uh, does good enough damage. Cool. Oh boy, Dark Matter. Oh wait, that's right. I'm past the robot, so I should put Sing back on Stop putting on the hex ring. <laughs> <clears throat> oh no, more monsters. Uh... Oh wait, whoops, I didn't mean to flee. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, you can run away from treasure chest battles, but you can only do it with the command abilities to run. Mm -hmm. You can always challenge the chest again, though, in order to get the item. And what's funny is that some treasure chests actually have multiple encounters that can happen, and it's a random chance whether you get one encounter or not. This is actually how I farmed one of the elemental rings one time in uh, World 2, was basically um, going to a trap treasure chest fighting, I think it was the Red Dragon, and basically trying to steal from him. And then every time I would steal, like, either the ring or potion, I would then use the flea command to get the hell out. That was how I got four fire rings in World 2. I just kind of did it to see if I could, really. They, they weren't actually that useful after that point. The reflect rings were really more useful there. Alright, time to purposefully fall down this sand trap. Or to get this treasure. <clears throat> Whoops, I did it again. Don't make me sing Britney Spears. I'm not happy right now. Why? I said don't make me sing Britney Spears. I'm gonna murder these monsters. Okay, murder them. Boil them, eat them alive. Undead, undead or birth. Would you eat an undead abomination? If I had nothing else to eat and mine was dying, sure, why not? <sighs> oh, great dark matter. That's really useful for a team of thieves. Oh yeah, there's other stuff to- wait, no, that shit doesn't matter, never mind. The other direction just leads to some crystal mail, and nobody can equip it. Oh, hey, it's this guy. Mm. It's the Bludgeoner. <laughs> yes! Ferris has mastered the way of the ninja. Now she can be something else for a while. Probably just switch her to thief. Take off the hex ring. Krill is the ninja. Put off. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm not gonna be stealing anything. We 
Now we don't need to go down any of the sand traps because we have the treasure we need. Dark matter. So, uh, so what do we do with dark matter? Um, let's just make a soup out of it. <laughs> so, uh, dark so dark matter soup. soup. So let's uh, make some dark matter soup. So how does it taste? It tastes it, like a little evil. <laughs> it tastes like soup for a day. <laughs> Yeah, so this is why uh, Zepha over there is kind of someone I don't care to fight. She'll summon monsters that you fought in the past, and then she'll just sit there and heal them the whole time. Here's the other thing that's a bitch about her. She is always considered to be in the back row. So she will never not... <laughs> take whole damage. It will always be half damage from, like, a regular physical attack. It's so lucky. So let's just confuse her for a minute. Goddamn. Is she considered undead? No, she's not. Good to know, I guess. <clears throat> Just keep trying to run away. Now she's dead. And now he killed himself, okay. That's, uh, that's great. Money and monsters. He's damned, damned. <laughs> See, now that Ferris is a thief and Krill is a ninja, they're just too fast for Deku to be able to actually do anything. More dark matter. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hair ornament! 
Technically, it's a gold hairpin. Alright, time to fight a boss. Uh, just kidding. The first lithograph. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> the pyramid rises. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Something's written here. Bahamut? 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 What is... Oh, uh, look. The peninsula oh. where we landed the airship. It is sinking? What is going on with this world? <laughs> <clears throat> ah, but see... It was actually a dragon! Because it was shaped like a dragon. Well, looks like we got a boss fight. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Alright, goodbye. Um, hello fight we're never gonna do. Yep. Oh boy, it's the airship. Oh boy. I'm glad it didn't just like completely sink to the bottom of the ocean from, you know, it falling off the back of a giant dragon. No problem. It'll be fine. No problem. Alright. Now I just feel like now I just feel like they go there and, and there's Hoenn Kiyoma going, I am mad scientist. What? I was randomly thinking of Steins Gate. Okay. The one he does when I, when you have him yeah, doing sure. guy talking in English. Yeah. And he's like, hello, and like in Japanese he's like, oh, oh, it used to be Japanese. Oh. Okay, this is... Um... <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll stick with them. Tent time! Let's go back through this forest and uh, get reunited with our shit. What? Is that a dragon? Okay, yes, it's a dragon. dragon. So its name is Dragon. Dragon! Yes, Krill. Yes. That's a dragon. Yes, it's Very which good. dragon are you calling, Krill? Which dragon are we calling? The dragon from World 1 or the dragon from World 2? They're calling the dragon from the seven dragon balls. <laughs> so, so we're calling Shenron? This body's mine! No! I will grant you any one wish. Oh, wait. 
It's Melusion. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to win, really. Yeah, great, I said. Hands of your friend! <laughs> <laughs> I won't! Oh, totally good. I should just kill you now, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> and now, for your viewing pleasure, I will cook this turtle. What? Oh, no, the library's so X-Death, that's not- that, no, no, that's not how you cook a turtle. X-Death, you- uh. X-Death! <laughs> Guy, you should at least get some, You should at least get some lessons from Soma! Even if it's horrible cooking, you at least have cooking! Just talk to Ainsley. Ainsley? Uh, I can't remember his last name. He, has, he does his own cooking show and stuff. Very nice British accent. Mm -hmm. And yet everybody makes a meme out of him. Oh, I was seeing me mind. No, no, Reyna. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you don't have somebody to tell you you can't take it home, Reyna. <laughs> but it's so cute! It's so cute, I want it take it home! No, it's a demon, get- <laughs> Okay, Malusion, she's gonna be a bitch of a fight to do with this party. Malusion, the woman who doesn't even bother to wear clothes. What's so, clothes? here's her thing. She has elemental weaknesses that change based on her, you know, current state. She starts off really weak to fire. So, first things first, throw a bunch of fucking fire scrolls at her and hopefully just obliterate her before she can bury her shift. And of course she casts magic. Bolt three. Yeah, she she hits with really hard magic and sometimes it, you know, <laughs> it doesn't even like coordinate with what she's weak to. She really just casts whatever magic she feels like. But yeah, this will be a battle of going between throwing scrolls and, you know, <laughs> hitting her with shit. Also, I just got lucky that she did the that, and alright, now she's weak to something completely different. <sighs> that was a lot faster than last time. <laughs> okay, so she's not going to be weak to fire anymore, let's do lightning. Lightning works. Damn it! Why would you... <laughs> I don't like that you decided to punch the barn. <laughs> also, here's something to keep in mind. Uh -huh. Her physical defense is huge! Oh, darn it. So it you can't be massive. Yes. This is a boss that is very anti-physical attacks. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of fight where if you're stuck with physical parties, having a Mystic Knight is basically the... <laughs> you know, the cheese your way through it. <laughs> but yeah, now that she's basically punched Bard out of, you know, singing, I might actually just leave him to healing duty so the other two can just focus on throwing scrolls until she dies. <laughs> This, this boss is actually really annoying if you end up letting her, you know, change weaknesses. And she's dead. Good. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> there are two Ferrises. 
Mm. It happened! Oh my god, oh. it actually happened. Mm. Are, are you seeing it? They're actually, instead of there being a Bart sprite on the screen, there are two Ferrises there. So this mm -hmm. is a bug that happens a lot with um, some of the cutscenes. If you have mm -hmm. someone else other than Bart's at the lead of the party, <laughs> uh, it actually uses the lead member sprite instead of Bart's sprite. So you have double sprite. So we have two Ferrises here talking to Reyna. So 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 Bart is secretly secretly cross dressing now. Well, taking after Ferris. <laughs> now I'm just imagining him dressed as the as princess while Ferris goes out pirating. <laughs> just like, <laughs> and then of course at some point Ferris comes back. He's like. Why, why are you on this long? Oh, oh wait. You have a really long journey. I'm stuck as you for how long? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe Bart just really wants to be pretty. <laughs> he really wants to be a pretty princess. Maybe he feels pretty. Oh, so pretty. Oh, so pretty and witty and gay? Yes. Which means happy people. Stop being like, oh, <laughs> this. Gay means happy. Yeah, like, you know, Don We Now Are Gay Apparel. La 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 la. Also, the word fag actually okay, means Okay, so here's the thing about... This is the reason why you <laughs> unequip uh, Reyna before she leaves. But that's also another good reason to, like, run away from fights. She is gone for that whole sprint. So when you get her back, that's the only time you can get her equipment back, but also she's like, you know, has not gained any experience at all while away. So she inevitably <laughs> falls behind in terms of experience. <sighs> and yes, I am getting very annoyed at people putting double standards on words. Okay. Anyways. So I apologize for ranting, people. The entrance to the end hurts. zone. The end zone, where you're all staring in it with us. I stared in the abyss, and it stared back. And it told me it was a tree. It told me John Romero is about to make you his bitch. Oh no! <laughs> Woo! Now we have our airship back. We can go visit the dungeons. Oh wait, no more cutscene. Oh hey, look, it's the end zone. Now oh, how about now? I have taken control of it. <laughs> With the way that's written, it sounds like X Death is really just a huge nerd. Well, he is. They said none could control the power of the void. Well, how about now? <laughs> Like, haha, now they'll, now they'll pay for shoving me in the locker. Get rid of these random assholes. Yeah. Oh no, there goes Shiva. Oh. oh no, there goes the town where we can buy rings and fight Ramu. Oh, everyone's dying! towns are being sucked up. And all the people all the death. Yeah, like yes. he's gonna hear you all the way in the end. I can't hear you and Esteth doesn't... Does Esteth really care? Oh no, Moogle Forest trapped in the middle of the mountains. All the Moogles are gone, Koopo. Screaming Koopo. Koopo, Krill, Koopo, Koopo. Oh no, this random town that nobody actually gives a fuck about. No. But, you know, it's Bart's hometown, so sure. 
I guess I'll care about it a little. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh no. Mm hmm. Screens of all the all the death is all the boat. I love how the airship is just is just just you know trembling in the air as it's flying around the world. Just <laughs> like like the airship the airship has adopted his rage. Stop using all for one to to push the airship to its limits. You mean one for all? Sorry, one for all. Oh God. Plotus Deku gets power. all for one as well. <laughs> all for one will run. No! Deku becomes four musketeers at once. Four musketeers, yes. <laughs> which, one, which, which one does he care about more? D'Artagnan or... Uh... Was D'Artagnan Dirt, one of the original ones? I think so. I forget the name of half these people. I, I think they're because I can't remember if D'Artagnan was new or not. <clears throat> oh no, uh, D'Artagnan I think was like the new one. Yeah, I was trying to remember. <clears throat> that was the funny thing. So it was the three musketeers, and then there was a fourth one randomly in there. Anyways, so mm -hmm. world three. Which you're actually not going to see any of because there's no reason to go anywhere with this party. AK known as, we're going to probably stop here. Well, we are stopping here. Next part uh, will be the void. The void.